David is here from Karma. Today, I'd like to demonstrate to you how to set up and enable your rewards in your company in three simple steps. I assume that you already have our product installed. If you don't, then either head to the Slack store or Microsoft Teams store, search for Karma Bot, and get our product installed first. So when you install our product and added the board either to Slack or Microsoft Teams, head to your dashboard. If you're in Teams, then you need to head to the personal messages with the board. And if you're in Slack, head to karmabot.chat and log in with your Slack login. And the dashboard, the first step you'd like to do is go to the global and settings and set up some limits around Karma. So the limit of the maximum of Karma that every particular employee can give, and we recommend you set it up somewhere from one to five, so we set it up to two, and then limit the amount of karma that every employee can give within a certain period of time. And that num number would help you to set up a value of every single reward that you will add within our product. So let's say we set it up as 30. So 30 points per month, every member of your Slack or Teams would be able to give out when they see something or they feel that they can appreciate someone, so they have a pool of 30 points. The second step that you'd like to do is just head to the rewards section and click enable rewards. That's it, nice and simple, your rewards are enabled. So now you make a decision, whether you'd like to have a bonus or you'd just like to add rewards. I quickly explain about the bonus. So if you say that your team will have a bonus and it'll be monthly and we'll put a value of a bonus of 100 of coins, that means that all the karma that's been given to your employees, rank them on the leaderboard, and you'd be able to see in the rewards section how many shares of that bonus would they receive. So Sam right here would receive 8% or 8 coins, and Rhoda right there will receive 5% or 5 coins. So that's how bonus works. Let's head back to the rewards. And the third simple step would be just to add the rewards. Just to keep in mind the different rewards work differently and it all depends on your company. If you have everyone in one office, then maybe a fruit bowl or a coffee or a book would work perfectly. If you have a remote team, then gift cards, dinners and day offs would be good rewards to add. So these are the three simple steps of how you can make rewards going in your company. And it will take only five minutes to get it enabled and your employees would be able to redeem their rewards as soon as they have enough balance in their karma coins. So, step number one, enable some rules around karma giveaways. Step number two, make sure you're on trial or have a paid subscription and enable rewards module. Step number three, add some nice rewards and let your employees redeem those rewards for the karma coins that they will receive when they'll be appreciated and recognized either in Slack or Microsoft Teams.